Hello, welcome once again to What Time, the channel where the focus is normally on the NVIDIA Shield. Today we're going to be having a look at the Mikul KM3. Specifically, we're going to update it from Android TV 9 to Android TV 10. Yes, one of the first boxes to get Android TV 10. When I first got my hands on the KM3, it was on uh, Android TV 9 Pi, and that was at least three months before the NVIDIA Shield updated to Pi. Once again, Mikul have done it and updated to the next generation Android TV. So in this video we're going to show you how, where to get it, where to get the new firmware and how to get it installed. Okay, I have to interrupt quickly here on this video. Um, an important thing, having made the video completely and I'm putting in the introduction, I've uh, discovered that the Wi-Fi no longer works. The Wi-Fi connection no longer works on the KM3. So this is a fault in the uh, firmware and needs to be rectified. So do not, do not, do not install this if you intend to use Wi-Fi. Works fine on Ethernet, but Wi-Fi is a no-no. You have been warned. News tutorials and how-tos, things like that are what interests us here. If you're the same, please take a moment just to hit the subscribe button and the notification button as well. That way you'll know just as soon as our next video hits the YouTubeosphere, if that is a word. Enough of the preamble, let's get stuck in! What time? So the new firmware for the Mikul KM3 and the KM9 Pro. Where can you get it? That's the first thing we're going to look at. Um, I will also be putting a link into in the description to the tutorial, online tutorial that follows basically this video or this video follows the online tutorial. They are both interlinked. So in there you'll find a link which is also in the description to the firmware that you need to get. So you click on that and you will come to this page on the MeCoolOnline.com support page. And there you can see two links, the KM3 Android 10 version and the KM9 Pro 10 version. As I'm going to be installing it on the KM3, that's the one I'm going to click. You click on that and so you will be taken to the download page where you have various options. The option you want to look at is this one on the left hand side. There's three little buttons, three little dots there. Click on that. Go to download and standard download. Click on that and you may get a pop-up asking you for access to download something onto your drive. Allow that. Clearly you have to say yes. And down the bottom there you'll see the progress. We'll come back to this in just a moment. So we're up to 99% on the download as 100% and you will be prompted on where to save it. There we go. As I've already downloaded this previously, that's the one there, the KM3 OTA Amlogic V1 2020-0515. That's the name of the file. So you just save it to there. I'm not going to save it because I've already got it. And that's now on your thumb drive. Now take that thumb drive and plug it into your KM3. And then we're going to go up to settings on the KM3 and then into device preferences and click on about. And in there we're going to click on update and we're going to take up this second option, local update. And once you've clicked on local update, you'll see the zip file has been found on the thumb drive. So once you see that, that the zip file is there, just click on the th zip file and it'll take you back to the update screen. And you can see that it's there, KM3 OTA Amlogic V1 2020-0515. I have to say at this point, this is a critical operation and you really must not power off your device whilst this process is in progress. You have been warned. So, so we're going to confirm that and this will take a few minutes. We come down and say update. Starting update, please ensure that equipment power is not switched off. It's meant to say preparing and waiting, copying. 
this is going to install a completely fresh update of Android 10. All system files, all apps will have been deleted. So it will be erased and restarted. Installing system update, this will take a few moments. Let it do its thing. Do not unplug your KM3. It will reboot a couple of times in the process. Hopefully, this time, hopefully, it'll boot into Android 10. You will have to, you will have to repair your remote control by pressing the OK and the volume down button at the same time until the LED light blinks. And then it will pair itself up once it's connected. Success. And away we go. And then you drop into the uh, configuration screen. So I would obviously choose you English United Kingdom. You choose whatever language you want. If you're connected to the other net, continue using that. If not, you can change network and uh, configure your wireless. So you can then sign in to Google, which is recommended. And the way I always do it is to use my phone or computer. That seems to be uh, is much quicker. OK, and you carry on doing the setup process as you normally would any other device. You are done. I'm going to skip through to the final part where I've done this and I'll show you that we're on Android 10. So having done that, we're going to come back up just to check that we are on Android. I've got a couple of notifications. So those are the drives that I've got plugged in. Things menu and we're just going to go into we just quickly set up a device name, KM3, that'll be fine. We'll come into device preferences just to check and in about. There you can see down here we are now on version 10. This is Android TV version 10.0 operation update done. Let us know how you got on in the comments down below. And if you'd like more me cool videos like um, adding extra storage, how to transfer files across networks, please let us know. Thanks once again for being with us. We'll catch you when you catch us in the next one. Toodle pip.